Hello everyone and welcome back to Mossley Farm. It is another beautiful winter day. I think it's actually snowing today and we are here putting away some of our treasure that we managed to get last night. I am still a little bit stunned you guys because actually do I? Nope. You can't really see it anywhere on me but we picked up the skull ring and that was actually at the very bottom of the mines. I'm still sort of stunned because <laughs> we went all the way to the bottom of the mines. I am not sure what I'm going to do now. We have this um skull key and I love the mines so I guess we'll just pop over there now and then for some fun but I am sort of stunned I I really I didn't expect that and we've already gone to the bottom of the mines I don't know what to do about that other than to put my precious emerald over here into my chest and to maybe try to go back down there so we can try to find some amethyst because I want to give my wonderful girlfriend Abigail some more amethyst and try to reach 10 hearts with her maybe we can think about you know having a wedding maybe a winter wedding or spring wedding we'll have to think about that I think that would be really really fun actually and I also have been thinking you guys that we might actually don't panic when I say this, but we might actually give some bouquets to other people. <gasps> I know, scandalous, but we're not married yet. And I kind of want to see if we can get to 10 heart events on multiple bachelors and bachelorettes before it's time to get married. So we're going to have to see what we can do because I, I looked it up to make sure. And apparently they will not get jealous if you give bouquets to multiple people. And it'll just kind of mark them all as your girlfriends and boyfriends. And then if you get to 10 hearts with a certain people you can have a 10 heart event and I really want to see what those events are so you know Abigail and I we're, we're, we're dating we're pretty steady here but uh it's not nothing nothing's final yet so we might be um dating around a little bit just to see if we can manage to pull off getting some of those 10 heart events so that's what I'm looking forward to one of many things and then some of the other things I want to work on today let's see no sap in here but some of the other things I want to work on is actually setting up more winter crops. And I think I actually have, yeah, here we go, some crystal fruit. So I want to set up uh, at least maybe three more quality sprinklers, I'm thinking. And then sprinkle a whole bunch of winter crops around. So I need one more snow yam. And I need two more winter roots. So let's come over here. <gasps> my little drum set. Yeah, my little bear's beatboxing over there. That's so cute. And let's see, there's a bunch of radishes, there's a bunch of seaweed, I need to get more eggs. I'm thinking we're gonna get another chicken. Um, as much fun as it is to have dinosaurs, they don't seem to lay eggs very often, and the eggs that the chickens lay can actually be used in cooking, they can be used to give gifts to people. So I think we're going to go ahead and we are going to get another chicken pretty soon as well. And I don't see, did I leave it down here? Yeah, there we go, all right. Um. Well, there's one snow yam. Whoops, let's do this snow yam. And then I have two crocuses. And I still think it's amazing that we got that strange bun from one of the creatures in the mines. That was kind of surreal. And, oh, there they are. <laughs> I just couldn't see the winter roots for some reason. All right, so there's 20 winter roots right there. 20 seeds, 20, se or 20 winter roots, 20 seeds for winter seeds there. And if I put a string around each, so let's see, I think I need to get one more set. We'll see. We'll see how many we can make doing this. And let's come down. Oh, and we've got some mail. All right, come here, Rose Stone. Let's ride Rose Stone over to the left just a little bit for, or the right, just a little bit for a second so we can have our music come back. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and there's another crocus, sweet. Come here, beautiful thing. I'm so excited, you guys. This is gonna be really fun to have all of the flowers growing in the winter, no less. And let's see what the mail says, okay. Hello, friend. The mountain lake has been kind to me lately. I'd like to share my good fortune with you. From Linus. <gasps> Look at that! It's another largemouth bass! Thank you, Linus! How much does that sell for, actually? It sells for a decent amount. I think I might go ahead and sell it just right now because we can actually make some other things. And let's put that into the recycling bin. We can actually make other types of fish into the... Um, the sashimi and everything else that we can cook. All right, ooh, look at all that gold. Oh my gosh. We're gonna be rolling around in the gold. See, this is why I'm not gonna feel bad about turning some of them into quality sprinklers. So I think we're gonna have three more quality sprinklers. And so there's that. And that's all it takes. We can get all the gold, all the iron, all the quartz that we possibly could want. The iridium bars, I have one of, and it's gonna stay with me because <laughs> the iridium is just too precious. I want to upgrade my watering can, even if we do have the sprinklers, because it's just, it covers a huge area for very little expense, and I don't mind taking care of my crops. So one, two, three. I can't believe we just did that. That's amazing. Holy days. 
I feel so rich right now. <gasps> Look, and we even have more blackberries and some salmon berries. Yes, and I got the double bonus on those. Thank you, fruit bats. They're pretty productive for like it, the season. All right, let's put the blackberry in here. And let's check on all of our chickens and our ducks. Hi. Hi, guys. Everybody doing okay? All right, everybody happy? Okay, pardon me. Pardon me. Okay, get everybody's happy, more or less. Look at my cute little dra or dragon. It does look like a dragon over a dinosaur right now, doesn't it? All right, and let's go ahead and put both the eggs in to make some mayonnaise. Cattail is happy. Let's feed everybody. Maybe I should try... Um, oh, gosh, that doesn't leave a lot of... That doesn't leave a lot of hay. Well, okay, let's do this. Apparently, I've emptied out the hopper. It's a good thing that I put everything... There we go. It's a good thing that I put, like, a ton of hay just in a chest instead of leaving it in the silo. Because now I don't have to worry about that. All right, and let's come on down. Hey, Noodle Doodles! I need to give you a pat real quick. There you go. And imagine all the quality sprinklers we can set up for our big flower field here. <gasps> that would be so cool. In fact, I kind of should put it down here, shouldn't I? Huh. Well, I want to be able to come out my front door and see some things too. So that's okay. All right, let's see. Let's get this path up right there. And then quality sprinkler one right there. And then do I need an ax to get rid of this little piece? Nope. Yay. And then we're going to put uh, another quality sprinkler right here. And then let's go ahead and, whoops, I did not mean to pick it up. Go ahead and hoe the ground. Do, do, do. I'm not really worried about using any sap or anything to make it like specialty crops. Uh, it doesn't really need to be high quality because I'm mostly going to be giving everything away. Oh, apparently that tree's in the way right here. What? Well, well, you just won't put a seed there. All right. Oh, look at all these. So many winter seeds. This is so cool. We're, we're like going to be doing things in the winter even. All right, let's get rid of those. Now everything's unbalanced. <laughs> what have I done? What have you done, Siri? Who knows? All right, let's put that there. I think we have just the right number of seeds, more or less, too. Whoops, didn't mean to do that either. All right, there we go. And we will start thinking pretty seriously. Let's put that there, that there, that there, and yeah. All right, that's not bad. There we go. See, it kind of worked out all right. We could always add in more if we wanted to before the season's over. And then I guess I'm just going to put these here. There, that kind of balances. It's horrible. I have made like a gigantic mess with the symmetry here. Oh, gosh. But yeah, we will be working on getting the paths put down that I've been thinking about, the stepping stone paths, and putting them over like in this side of our field so that I can have that fun path that will let Rosestone and I ride clear around the whole farm and then let that just become wild forest, which would be really, really fun. All right, so what else do we need to do for the day? Well, I need to ship some of this stuff. Not everything, but some of it. Blackberry. I think somebody really loves blackberries. I'll just give the salmon berries away as gifts, I guess. Um, oh, and I probably do need to water the crops today, don't I? That's right. Because today they would not be watered by the sprinkler. Because the sprinkler only goes off in the morning. So new crops need watered. I'm glad I thought about that. And then what are some of the other things I'm trying to work on? The gold watering can. Um, maybe more goats and cows would be a good thing. Uh, I kind of want to do a little bit more fishing. I kind of want to add more of these. Hmm. Hmm. Let's add a few more, you guys. They're going to be kind of in interesting locations. I think I'm just going to, like, continue down over here. Let's get at least three more. Let's get at least three more, and let's just see how big we can make our winter harvest, our winter fields. One, two, three. One, two, three. I should probably start smelting up some more quartz at this rate. Oh, dear. And then one, two, three. There we go. Let's get the quartz smelting, because I'm going through my, my refined quartz faster than I thought I would. And then we'll come on down, and I'm going to make a few more seeds just to see what we can pull off. All right, and you can go, and maybe I'll sell one pale ale just to see how much it's going to be worth. All right, and then let's come back in, grab some more of the winter seeds, and I'm also going to need the crystal fruit, and I have the crocus, and I need to come up and get... Do, do, do get this winter root leave the cave carrots because they turn into root splatter which is amazing all right and winter seeds how many more winter seeds can i make one group of winter seeds um and i want to make like a few more so let's try again one two i think i need more crocuses to make more is the thing yeah i need more crystal fruit oh and i have well i have enough to do like one more and then i'm just gonna have to wait 
till I have more crystal fruit and more crocuses. All right, but there we go. All right, so we've got 20 more seeds we can put down. Ooh, and I can make a spinner, cool. And then where are the, yeah, there's the quality sprinklers. Let's just make a few of those. Nice. I don't know what to do with the old sprinklers. Sell them maybe? All right, put those in there. And this and this, sell the mayonnaise. What an interesting day. It kind of throws off your groove a little bit when you're actually spending time in the winter doing some farming, but that's okay. Um, and there is the oak resin. That is good for the kegs. So we might consider more kegs. That's a possibility. All right, so let's put another quality sprinkler right here. Another one right here. And another one right here. Good. All right, but yeah. So I am thinking, even though it's a little bit naughty, that we might actually give the bouquet to multiple people. And we're not trying to do that to like cheat on Abigail. It's just that might open up the opportunity to get to see more people's special events. And I would love to do that, even if I think I know who I kind of want to marry. And who knows, maybe it will change my mind. Maybe we'll find like there's just some some secret to one of the other people where I'm like, oh, no, this is the one for me. What was I thinking? Abigail, I'm so sorry. So it could result in a lot of drama. We'll have to see. All right, let's go and check on our goat. And our, I think our goat's just a baby goat. So it's going to be a little while before we are lucky enough. Let's come and get some more ore smelted. Um, yeah, there we go. Almost close with that iridium. Just need a little bit more iridium. But yeah, it's going to be a little while before there we go yeah look at look how much we have so much gold we're so good on gold that's fine we're, we're totally fine on gold um i'm going to leave this fiber here too and this clay here there we go and i don't really need to carry the refined quartz around with me all right so we're good there good 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 but yeah i think it's going to be a little while before our goat is going to be giving us any goat milk let's check hi little one Milkweed! Yeah, little baby milkweed who looks sad. Oh, I think it's because we don't have any hearts with baby milkweed yet. Well, don't you worry, baby milkweed. You're just a baby. And it's going to be a little while before we can milk you. All right, nope. Come back here. Bluebell, thank you, darling. All right, is that... Nope, just a normal size milk. What about up here? All right, normal size milk. That's fine. I'm going to get that processed to make some cheese. And I'm going to leave the milker here. And let's get moving. All right, so what to do for the rest of our day? Hmm, my meteorite. We could make more, we could maybe make more beehives. Oh, I should probably water the crops I just planted. And then maybe we'll go fishing? Oh, yeah, actually, that reminds me. I think that I've read somewhere that there is some fantastic fishing to be had deep inside the caves. And I've actually never tried to fish in the caves. Like, I think at level 100, there's supposed to be some really cool fish that that shows up if you start fishing down there. Oh, and we do need a lot more bait, don't we? So, yeah, let's go give some presents to people. Let's go make sure it's nobody's birthday. And let's go mining because I think that's going to be potentially the best source of food we have access to right now. And what does this have to say? living off the land there's a couple fish you can only find in the winter squid and ling cod squid can be caught from the ocean in the evening ling cod can be found in fresh water all day of course there's a rumor of extremely rare and unique fish that can only be found in particular seasons but i don't have any information on them Ooh, see that just goes for the fishing let's see it's gonna snow tomorrow fortune teller spirits are somewhat annoyed hmm well if that means more creatures to fight in the mines i actually don't mind um because that's it's actually really useful to be able to fight creatures in the mines and as you guys can see i've started moving some of this stuff out of like this drawer and i don't know if i showed you guys that this is like my secondary cabinet my secondary kitchen cabinet that i have also i hear abigail actually likes really spicy eel there's like this spicy eel meal um i think we might know how to make it where is it let's see fried it's like spicy fried eel maybe Maybe it's fried eel. I, I think she likes... No, I'm pretty sure it had something to do with, like, combining an eel and spice. Hmm. Like an eel and a um, chili pepper. So I'm going to have to find it because I want I do want to spoil Abigail. Um, pepper poppers. I wonder if somebody likes pepper poppers. I think I was told that Shane likes pepper poppers. So we're going to have to look into that. Oops. I'm going to leave the watering can. <laughs> All right. So let's go see if we have any luck inside the mines. And we'll just give random gifts to people as we work our way over there. I need to get some more bug meat anyway. And we'll just see what we happen to stumble on. Maybe we'll find some more skulls in the ground. That was so cool. We just like found that prehistoric skull in the ground. 
Oh, look, there's a crystal fruit. Apparently, Roastone's too fat to fit in there. All right, don't worry, Roastone. You're just a well-fed horse. There we go. So we've got another crystal fruit, and now we just need like one more crocus. Wait, I have a crocus. So boom! Now we can make another row of um awesome. Oops! Oh gosh, everybody's out all of a sudden. Hey, Emily. It must be so cold for the poor fish. I wonder if any fish hibernate. I should ask Demetrius. Carolyn, maybe I'll just get some takeout from the saloon. Oh, that doesn't sound like Carolyn. Oh my goodness, does she like salmonberry? Oh, <gasps> this is absolute junk. I'm offended. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to do that. Maybe my relationship with Carolyn is on the rocks because of my relationship with her daughter. She seems like a more, um, a, a more traditional sort of person. All right. So we've got some interesting wallpaper. We've got some like, mm, that's kind of fun. That's kind of like hay flooring. Do I want that? Should I get I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it and tuck it to the side just in case. Oh, yes And we need to work on fruit trees planting some fruit trees ASAP um, Should I buy a cherry sapling now? Maybe I kind of want to wait. I kind of want to wait um, I'm gonna wait on these since we already have that bundle completed until we have the um, Okay, I'm gonna Okay, I'm gonna do this don't panic you guys. It's just we're just doing this because there's no jealousy that gets started Oh, and here's Elliot actually breathe deeply. Did you notice that it's the smell of the sea? I just want to see their events. Okay. I'm not cheating on Abigail I'm, I'm not whenever I smell the sea. It reminds me of my youth. The ocean really impressed me as a child Okay, like don't like don't take this the wrong way. Okay. Okay. Oops, Carolyn I'll accept this. Thank you. Yeah, it was you see I didn't know you felt the same. Um, Carolyn, Pierre, you saw nothing. <laughs> it works. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then you unlock it so that you have multiple boyfriends and girlfriends. I'm going to be breaking some hearts, aren't I? Oh my gosh. But I really want to see what their special... Abigail. Another year is almost over. It goes by so fast, doesn't it? Abigail, don't let anyone tell you anything's up. Because it's, it's not. Hey, Maru, nothing's up. No, that's what's up. Nothing. Absolutely nothing's up. It's a good time to explore the caves. It sure is, Maru. Yes, caves. You you should go. Who cares if your dad flips? That's right. All right, everybody's, everybody's good. Here's Pam. Pam, how you doing, Pam? It's awful cold. A visit to the saloon should warm me up, don't you think? Oh, poor Pam. Here you go. You don't even have to make it all the way to the saloon. Just just take it. Take it, Pam. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, um... <clears throat> Oh no, I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh. All right, there's Penny. Oh, hi, you wanna talk? And if you find anything, any interesting artifacts or minerals, Gunther would gladly display them in the museum. He told me he has special gifts for people who donate. And Penny, okay, I'm, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I really wanna see their special events. That's all, that's all you guys. And then once we get married, then we'll stop this streak of heartbreak, I promise. I just, Penny, have some, have some flowers? Oh, I didn't know you felt the same. Oh, gosh. I was just being friendly and everyone was misinterpreting my gift of flowers. I have no idea where they were all getting this idea of romantic intentions, you guys. This is this is slander. I don't appreciate um, being told that I'm being a bit of a heartbreaker. <clears throat> hey, Willie, how you doing? There's rumors of some very rare fish in these parts, but only an experienced angler could ha stand a chance against them. You'll need the finest bait you can get if you want a rare fish to bite. Thank you, Willie. Um, I have a Nautilus. I'm kind of curious how much a Nautilus shell sells for. Like 120? That's not bad. I'm going to sell that thing. All right, let's see if we find anything else here. Here's some more little worms. If I can go catch Willie. What? It's so cute. It's a little dried starfish. A starfish from the primordial ocean. It's unusually a pristine specimen. Oh, there's some more worms. Worms, you guys are being cool today. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to be all right with getting some clay. And then we can drop the oyster off at Willie because Willie enjoys oysters. When was the last time I came to the beach? Holy days. Look at all this. There's like stuff everywhere and I still feel a little bad for leading everybody on but don't worry It doesn't it doesn't nothing happens until <laughs> Nothing happens and un until you like get married and then people get mad when you start leading them on for now It's just a friendly misunderstanding. I feel really like uh, You know what? It's just we want those special events. That's all. That's all. Okay. I'm not gonna feel bad about it 
Well, okay, I lied. I'm probably always going to feel a little bit bad about it, but I really do just want to see their special events. So I'm going to try to not take it uh, too personally against myself. All right, there we go. I wonder if I should just go fishing today since we've already committed this far. Might as well. Might as well. We've got all this fish stuff in our inventory. All right. Might as well just follow it through, huh, Rosestone? Gosh, I wonder if anything interesting is going to happen. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Like, we'll just say there was some sort of misunderstanding. If this was like a story I was writing, it would just be like, Oh, just friendly Siri giving flowers to everybody. How did I know that that actually meant that Elliot thinks that I have romantic intentions towards him? And poor Penny thinks I have romantic intentions towards her. Alright, well, let's see about what we can do here with a little bit of fishing. Anything good? <sighs> Maybe I deserve to be alone with my thoughts for a minute. Oops. Think about what I've done. All right, what are you? What are you? And it's a herring. Hmm. You know, actually, it wouldn't make sense to try to go to the mines. Let's try to go to the mines. Because fishing is actually kind of cool. Don't get me wrong. And I actually really, really love fishing. Oh, no, you don't, you little wiggly guy. And it would be good to get our skill up for fishing. Um, what is our skill level right now on fishing? So our skill level right now is six at fishing. And I would love to increase that because it's our lowest thing that we have skills for. But we actually... Oh, yeah, look, you can see the skull ring in my wallet. Interesting. But um, if we go into the mines, I can do fishing in the mines too. And I can also try to stock up on the bug meat. So we'll go do that. So we're going to have to see how things turn out with Elliot and Penny and Abigail. Besides, I need to go to the, like, I really need Abigail to get as much amethyst as she could possibly want now so she doesn't doubt our intentions now that I'm giving everybody bouquets. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, Willie. I need a little warm me up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. I understand, my friend. Have an oyster. Um, or maybe a clam. Here, actually, have this cockle. There you go, sir. A gift. Thanks. And so he's good. Hey, Clint. Business has been slow lately. Hang in there, Clint. Um, I think I've already given him all the gifts he can have for the week. And we gave Sebastian a gift for his birthday, too. Yep. And then how are you doing? You're really persistent. I guess I'm just surprised anyone would be interested in talking to me. Don't worry, Shane. I feel ya. There's so many people who have, like, write, written, written, what on earth, Siri, have written a lot of, like, fan fiction about, like, how Shane has a lot of depression. So I really always want to go out of my way to just be like, what's up, my friend? And let's actually go ahead. How much does that bolt of cloth sell for? Um, because I got one before. Oh, I was going to give it to Emily. But you know what? I need the 350 coins. I'm so sorry, Emily. And do I have any driftwood for Leia? I do not. But, um, I have a salmon berry. I think she likes salmon berry. Maybe? She's another one of those ones where I would love to try to romance pretty much everybody to their 10-star event before I get married. And... Uh, Leia, 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 Leia. We're starting to get there with her, but it's always been a little bit dubious. All right, how's Pam? Why don't you swing by the saloon later for a taste of Obi Joyful? All right, and Leia? I'm having a hard time finding fresh food to eat. I've been eating a lot of bread. Oh, do you like bread? How about this? Nah, she's happy for the salmon berry. Sweet, and that sells for like 20 gold, so it's worth giving away. All right, Arya, talk to Emily. Pam and Clint come into the saloon almost every night. I'd probably go out of business if they stopped coming. <laughs> so make sure you don't drive them away. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'll do my best, sir. I don't really have anything to give Gus. I need to find, like, Gus's... Gus's gift. Gus's gift that he likes. We'll figure it out. Ooh, I got two of those Nautilus shells. I love that forging event. It's so cool. And some green algae. Okay. Well, I can turn that into something at least. And then let's see what's over here. Nothing there. Yeah, all right. So let's go back to the house for just a second. Sell some of the mini, mini corals and everything else that we're carrying around. Is there something I can craft coral into? I feel like there's some sort of... Yeah, the deluxe speed grow. We can actually craft coral into deluxe speed grow. Guaranteed to increase the growth rate of the soil by 25%. So maybe I'll save some of these for now. And the reason I would save them... Hi, Bun Bun! is because what we'll be able to do in the spring is if we already have our large goat's milk by then, we can deluxe speed grow a whole bunch of parsnips, like a whole bunch of parsnips, and see if we can manage to get the five that we need um, ASAP. So I'll have to think about that. Hmm. All right, and we're going to sell this little guy, sell that guy, 
Sell this guy, not my little starfish. He gets to stay. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and sell the coral for now, actually, because we can probably use that. Yeah, we can probably use the money more so. There we go. All right. Don't you worry, Roastone. We're not done with the day yet. We've got oh, Noodle Jules is already sleeping inside. Come on. There we go. Put this away, this away. Starfish can go in here just for now. Um, these things can go in here for now because we're going to make more seeds in a little bit. In fact, I technically could make more seeds right now, but I don't want to. We're, we're on a mission here. We're on a mission. All right, going to leave this here. The new flooring. I think maybe I'll put a chest in like the barn in the corner and just keep the extra floorings in there. Like we stored it in the attic of the barn or something like that. Um, I should be good then. And let's come over here and leave the slimy green algae over here. We can actually cook the algae into like algae soup if we wanted to. And let's go over to the mines and let's see what we can get in like a couple hours because we can get up there really quickly actually. And I want to try going fishing in the mines and just see what happens. I can't believe I've... Oop, let's go to the quarry too. Anything good here? I can't believe that I've become such a player. But again, we're, we're not gonna... We're gonna pretend I'm not like actively... <gasps> Ancient sword! That is so cool! We're going to pretend I'm not actively leading a bunch of people on and it's just a misunderstanding that will result in charmful little cutscenes because I really want to see them and it would be kind of silly to play like just 10 files just so you can see all the bachelors and bachelorette scenes. And that's not even counting Shane and Emily who are like also bachelors and bachelorettes now. All right, let's get in here and let's see. Let's grab my sword. We'll leave this ancient broken sword. Take my fancy sword. Take this. And then if we go down to level 100, I hear. Yeah, like this lava lake. Let's try fishing at the lava lake and see what this does. Because I've been told that this does something pretty cool. Alright. That's the best of the best. Oh. Really? <laughs> There's broken CDs even down here? That's kind of hilarious. All right, we're doing some lava lake fishing. I'm sure this is normal. Soggy newspaper. So far, I'm not that impressed. Oh, driftwood. Well, that's good for Leia. I can give it to her. Ironically, this is a really good source of trash, like better than our crab pots. <gasps> can you leave crab pots here? Oh, this is trash too. I was told there were fish here. Well, at least I have a really good spinner and some bait. Oh my gosh, is it really just trash in the mines? Huh. Yeah, it's getting late. Really? Well, this is a little anticlimactic for the lava fishing. But really good for my recycling bins that I have on the beach. Come on, anything here? Come on. Oh, well, you know what, guys? I'm gonna give it like one or two more there. That's like the best throw you can possibly have. And this will be like the last one for now. If nothing shows up, then I, I, I'm, nope, it's, it's just all just trash. <laughs> I, I'm pretty, like, 90% sure you are supposed to be able to get something, but apparently I'm not going to be able to get it, so that's okay. All right, let's grab the steel axe too, because I'm pretty sure we also need to be gathering a little bit more wood, just so we have it on us. Oh, and I've been told if you give cookies to Vincent, he really likes them. So I've saved these cookies. These are the ancient cookies. I think I dug out of someone's trash. I think I dug it out of um, Evelyn's trash, sweet little old Evelyn. And I guess I could just give those to, to Vincent, because apparently he likes cookies a lot. So I'm just going to give the poor child some of that. All right. And we'll just have to take all of the trash over to the beach so that we're able to do something with it. But otherwise, I'm going to go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning when we will probably plant maybe one more little row of crops. I'm going to put my little dried starfish away because that's a treasure. We'll turn in our ancient sword. Maybe we'll go get some wood. Maybe we'll just dive into the mines and spend a whole day doing awesome things in the mines so that I can have tons and tons of money. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.